Just over two years ago, Governor Bill Haslam and First Lady Chrissy Haslam decided to put their own kitchen and cutting garden in the backyard of the Tennessee Executive Residence. And now into their second growing season, it's been a big success, not only for the produce they're reaping, but also in the recognition for the demonstrations it's providing. Well, we got 2,600 pounds of vegetables out of this garden last year. At so Tennessee's executive residence, local flavor has become an important part of daily activities. That's in large part due to the fairly new kitchen and cutting garden located in the backyard. But obviously, this is no ordinary backyard. Since 1949, it's been the home of Tennessee's governor and his family. And it was just over two years ago that Governor Bill Haslam and First Lady Chrissy Haslam started construction on the garden that's now already winning international awards. The International Master Gardeners Association gives awards each year in their Search for Excellence award category. And we won Best Demonstration Garden in all of the United States and Canada. So we're very proud of that. When we created this garden, we, uh, we wanted, of course, to grow vegetables to use in the house and flowers to use in the house and serve to our guests. But we um, uh, also wanted a teaching garden. And we have used this garden to educate students. To uh, We've had hundreds of students come and learn about gardening, uh, plant their first plant, maybe eat uh, the first time they've eaten certain vegetables, I've eaten them here. And um, we've also welcomed teachers who come to learn about creating school gardens. And so that's been another bonus to this garden. Big one. And again, since completion, over 3,000 students and teachers have visited the garden to learn more about where our food comes from and healthy eating. And the executive chef agrees that fresh ingredients make a difference in the kitchen. Since the garden's been built, we've taken uh, our mini planting from the inside to the garden. Now we're planting everything in the garden, what's growing, what's fresh, and we're bringing it right inside. We do want to educate people about where their food comes from. We're an agricultural state, but a lot of our children don't know where how vegetables grow where they come from we've had children plant their first plants and uh, we always have them taste vegetables from the garden and we talk about uh, sustainability or um, organic gardening composting uh, all those things the tennessee residents garden is cared for by a team of volunteer master gardeners with assistance from the ut agricultural extension service they help select plant and harvest the fruits and vegetables in the garden and the first family enjoys taking part in the experience and the rewards I am very partial to our homegrown tomatoes, and we have a lot of heirloom tomatoes, and my husband always requests uh, corn. So he gets out there to see how tall that corn has grown. And uh, so we're looking forward to uh, a good season this year. Well, a pretty neat garden and a great way for the first family to promote healthy eating and the importance of our local farms.